Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Rob. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have in front of you yet another reverb plug-in for Christmas. It's from Arturia and yes it is free and I want to add a correction to the previous video that covered the Realm plug-in from Native Instruments. That I believe as far as I can tell from their website if you go to their website, you can get that for free, and I still think the offer is available. So go check it out, Native Instruments. Great reverb. This is another great reverb. It is a emulation of the classic plate. They call it Rev Plate 140. And I've thrown together a pathetic little example track here. It took me about 12 minutes, I guess. So everything on here... Everything on here is dry, so I have an example of like a vocal, I have a pad, and some percussion. Stuff you would typically use a plate for. Let me go through the features for you here. Oh, let me see if I can pull up their website here. Real quick. Right there, there it is. Free. Until December 31st, they'll hook you up. Okay, so here we are back at the plate reverb. Let me go through some of the uh, features here. You got your power switch on and off. That's kind of nice for the before and after because you don't get that popping like with Logic if you just turned it off and on right here. It has a drive section here. So let me just play the kick here. What I'm using here is Stylus RMX, so they're really ancient sounding samples here. Now what this does, this will automatically adjust the gain. So the more drive you add, it will compensate so that you're not getting any more level. So just the effect. So you can, for that reason alone, it's worth going and Downloading this uh, reverb. Let me blend in a little bit of. Uh, you have uh, three modes here. Number one, the first mode would be the for more of the percussive, like drum type applications. The second mode is more of the classic, and the third mode is more of the modern uh, with more highs. Okay, and then they also have additional controls over here. They even have a chorus in here. They've got pre-delay that you can adjust, and we haven't even added any reverb. So here we go. Let's add a little reverb on the drums, or the kick drum, like you're not supposed to. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's add a little drive. Okay, now i got some bongos. Let's get those going here. Pull up its plate. Oops, that's on two. Let's go to one here. Okay. So what you can adjust here is your decay time with the little up arrows up to six seconds. And again, the model number one or mode number one would be for percussion. You also have a blend, dry and wet, that's standard for reverbs, most of them. Then you have a width control. You go all the way down to mono, get some creative panning effects with that. In fact, I'm gonna try that. Let's, uh, let's turn this off. Bus one. Plate 140, Model 1, Mono. Okay, I'm going to take the bus, pan it right, and I'm going to add. Okay, now let's go in here. Let's get rid of this one. Let's go in here and play around with the... Got an EQ section here. So you can 
can kind of blend it in. Let's see here. So that's kind of a neat feature. So let's just leave that as it is and let's, let's move along here, okay? Clap. Okay. Again, percussive sound, so model one. Okay, now we've got hats. So what I wanted to do with the hats was to I'm going to check out a preset. They've got presets even. So what do we have here? Bright tunnel, bright hall, dark plate, hi-hat reverb. There we go. Hi-hat reverb. They're not putting any drive on their preset. Okay. Ah, I like it, Mikey. Okay, set everything back in here. Claps too loud. Okay, that'll be just, that'll be about enough of that. Okay, let's go to the morphing pad here and let's check out the course. I'm gonna go to model three here. Before. In fact, what am I doing here? Okay, let's uh, let's fix this. Okay. Okay, that got kind of loud. Let's turn that down. Now let's see what it does for vocals. And for the vocals, I'm going to use the modern model. In fact, let's just go, I'm going to pick a, does it have a vocal? Bright Hall. Okay. That might work for vocals. Let's see what we got down here. Now the chorus isn't on. Let me turn up the drive here. Blend in some reverb. I guess I could have picked a better subject for sampling the vocal capabilities of this reverb. I apologize. So here we go, completely saturated with this new reverb. If you're dead set on making a track, I mean, this is a great sounding reverb for what it is. It's a plate, so it takes a little bit, it has more specific uses than, say, a uh, the last reverb that I showed. But if you're dead set on making a track with just free reverbs and free plugins in general, I would certainly grab both of these reverbs, the one from the previous video, the Native Instruments Realm, and this one. They're great. You probably will get go a long ways with just these reverbs. Go check it out. They'll hook you up. See you next time.